Well, uh, more now on one of our top stories. The charges laid against dozens of pro-democracy activists in Hong Kong. For a closer look on this, we are joined now by Professor Ho Lok Sang from Lingnan University. So, Professor, this is the largest group to be prosecuted under the national security law so far. People in Hong Kong seem fearful. Is this just the beginning? Well, um, it is pretty clear that Beijing is going to be um, very vigilant on uh, possible threats. So um, I think they are playing safe and they just want to make sure everything is uh, in good order. So, so it's uh, in a sense, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's certainly not the end of it. You know, they, they're going to keep an eye on developments and making sure that everything will be in order. We're certainly far from the end of this uh, particular uh, situation that Hong Kong finds itself in. But Professor Ho, are the charges against these 47 activists sound? Well, uh, for some of them, probably not all of them. I would say that for some of them, uh, the charges would be sound. It, uh, in particular, um, I actually feel very sorry you know for you know for for this group of people because uh, um, first of all I personally know, know, know quite a few of them and uh, uh, and uh, uh, some of the um, you know a lot of people are not uh, aware of the background of all this you know because uh, they were planning you know under the the leadership of uh, professor uh, Ben Tai uh, who is, uh, you know, I, I've known him for, for, for quite a number of years. Uh, he was asking um, people, you know, to um, try to get more than 35 seats in the electrical, and then uh, they would try to um, um, <clears throat> um, block any, um, every move, okay, that again, the government proposes, they're going to block. They're not going to pass the, uh, for example, the budget and other uh, proposals, uh, legislative proposals. So, so it's going to, in other words, they're going to make the government uh, dysfunctional. The electrical is not going to function. Okay, and, and uh, uh, they spell it out very clearly that they want uh, uh, eventually to dissolve the electrical again and uh, and eventually forcing forcing the, uh, uh, the 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 chief executive to resign. You see, it's uh, it's a very strange. You know, I, when I first he heard of this story, I thought this cannot be true. But then I did read a, a, a story that was written, uh, 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 an account of this uh, a st strategy that was written by Ben Tai himself in Apple Daily in Hong Kong, and, and then I realized that this is not not hearsay. So, so I, so I think it's rather silly and it's not going to work. I know it's not going to work and it's going to lead to, 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 to problems for these people and I feel very sorry for them. Some challenging days for them uh, in the days ahead. Professor Ho, thank you very much for sharing your perspectives with us this evening. Professor Ho Lok Sang there from Lingnan University.